And this is why I trade using Fibonacci time. It not only enabled me to take those long positions up to the high here on the 2nd of June, but then switching those longs into a short, expecting price action to go back down. That's exactly what happened, and I have hit my take profit on these shorts. As you know, last month I was identifying the 2nd of June where this high was likely going to be put in. And then yesterday, obviously, in a long position, expecting one more push to the upside before we head back down. That's exactly what happened. Obviously, when we were back up at the highs this morning, I was identifying the shock harmonic pattern. And I was telling my group that I am in a short already and obviously wanting that high to be put in on the 2nd of June. That's exactly what happened. 20% move to the downside. Take profit here. Hope that you've enjoyed this one and it's opened your eyes to the beauty of technical analysis. Thank you and have a good day. Cheers. Sorry, did take a short around 10,200 and I am in another short position right now. So those are the two shorts I took, uh, but they were both above 10Ks. Uh, well, very simply, this is how I'm approaching this. I am currently in a short position. My short position is in profits. I would just like to highlight that. But nevertheless, I'm in a short. And I'll, and I'll resistance, resistance, this is still another lower high. So let's just not get carried away here because high, lower high, drop. This is potentially a lower high for another drop, isn't it? So that's why I'm just, just highlighting here. I'm not going to get carried away because, yes, we have broken out of this consolidation region. But... The volume upon the break is very low, but truly from a technical perspective, I see a little bit of exhaustion or, or lack of buyers coming in above these highs. That's not really what you want to see if you're looking for continuation. If you come below that channel, then you have a massive deviation of the highs, and then it is much more likely that we put in the high. Let's just do it again. We can expect a high on the 2nd of June. I would love it. I would love it <laughs> so, so, so much if that was our high last night. I, I, I truly would. Because I could just basically just like retire and just say, you know, there we go. There's the second of June call. Uh, uh, that's how I'm viewing this. OK, and one more time, I'll show you the relationships that we saw, um, you know, the relationship between this wave and just look at it, how it times the high there. Just perfect. We had everything coming together.